Okay, hello. Uh, this is uh, Rani Ahmed with you, and in uh, this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to uh, reach uh, from uh, main.tcl this script, okay, which is the starter script uh, of the application written in TCLTK using uh, the interpreter Androwish on Android. Uh, it's just to reach uh, the other files, other scripts that are you can consider them as the other uh, parts of the uh, application okay now so all we uh, what we are going to do is just concentrate on this uh, main uh, dot uh, tcl now this is our main uh, dot tcl this is the contents of the script now uh, we start first and I have to emphasize on that we are not teaching you uh, CLTK. You have to find the uh, package that I'm uh, telling you about in the uh, notice written on the video. Okay. So uh, we start with that. You have uh, to tell the window management, the, uh, the system uh, of the uh, uh, current windowing uh, system, you know. Uh, like if you are on Windows or whether you're on Linux or Linux has its GNOME and uh, KDE and whatever they want the management here and you've got on Macintosh uh, whatever uh, Coco you know so you just you're telling that uh, the window will have a title okay and uh, this is its title now which window is the window that's called dot this is the starting window okay now uh, one of the attributes that I want to do or want to use is uh, for this window, okay, which is the root window we call it, uh, is to have a full screen. Now the full screen currently is set as zero. Now, in uh, and I'm not planning to run the emulator, okay. There's no need for it because it's the same thing on your PC and on Android. However, uh, this title will not appear, okay. If you put the full screen as one because uh, this option tells the window tells the root window because I'm uh, doing this on the root window that uh, it will be uh, full screen but because I'm putting it zero this means the full screen is off okay so it takes whatever the size that's automatically set by the uh, packing system here okay because I'm using the pack uh, the packing of uh, the widgets okay uh, inside the uh, square or the uh, rectangle of the window so just quickly just to run it for you double click here and I run it on my Linux machine and this is what I should get and see this is the main control panel okay this is the uh, sorry not this one this one so this is it main control panel Let's put this always on top so you can follow. So this is main control panel and this is full screen series. So if I just set this as one and I can just uh, make another run of this script and you'll see it, it will go full screen. Okay. Now you uh, also uh, want to set the whole application uh, screen uh, I mean the whole application font size as a default size okay like you set it once and it will uh, propagate all over the application so if I just for example uh, say uh, here use this command named font and to configure the TK default font so this is the default font of the whole windowing window system the GUI system the everything called buttons and, and menus and whatever okay to have the size 18 okay so this is why it's so huge now if you want we can set this back to zero okay just to see and control the app and for example you can put this as like 10 
sorry. So this run. See, this is the difference. So this is the older, uh, this is the newer size, and this is the older size. But on Android, you need bigger sizes. From now, on, from now, I'm telling you for those who has, uh, who have, uh, like the normal phone sizes. Okay. the 800 by 480 this size now I close this because we don't need it okay and I will keep it always as a uh, full screen okay yeah, sorry without full screen so we move now I'm I'm making th uh, this list of buttons Okay, and because I'm using the command name pack, it will put them uh, on top of each other as a list. Okay, um, and uh, when I click on one of them, it should call the uh, the other uh, script. Okay, uh, that uh, it should be uh, running as an included file. Uh, using the command named source as you see below here and the location of the uh, other files uh, starting from the root director of your Android device okay it go it starts from the slash assets slash assets slash app and you can test this using the command this one this one says that I'm taking the information of this script and uh, the current script which is main.tcl and uh, finding uh, the uh, finding its container folder okay through the command name file dir the uh, dir name okay directory name okay so it's preferred that you use this way to save it okay so you can send it uh, to the other scripts good so this way I'm saying source using the variable Android assets path which I uh, set over here and this is the my uh, cache script now because I'm using uh, the Android setup okay I just just for this one just for this one I'm going to uh, return this to 18 previous size the, this current size here and I'm going to remove this just for now because I want to run it from my PC okay so I'm just putting dot slash which means the current folder and I just double click attack and run so this is my second run I click the cache register Uh, okay, the database is uh, somewhere else. So let me put it, change the file here just to reflect the, cor the correct part of the database. So, of course, for the database, for your database in SQLite, it's preferred that you use the Uh, SD card for uh, directory. Let me just zoom this so you can know what I'm talking about. The SD card location is slash SD card. Okay, it's like your memory chip card. Okay, where uh, you have bigger saving uh, size. It's like your external hard drive on your uh, Android uh, device. So, or your USB flash disk. So, um, I'm going to remove this okay and it's also preferred that you make a different folder okay we will talk about the database and different uh, video but uh, just for now just for about uh, the paths okay where you want to save them so I'm just uh, running this and this is my second time okay this one yes keep it this is the one always on top 
so I can click here to uh, run it see everything now is uh, goes zoomed okay and I can just say one two whatever and, uh, and I add my commands my uh, items so let's let's close this we return to everything to reflect uh, Android and that's simply what you should do basically regarding the path now uh, this uh, file the second file the for example the cashier uh, you should use um, top level windows okay which is let's see yes this one and this way okay and also I t I, I expected to use uh, HTTP so you can download the database it's preferred so you don't have to uh, prepare it on the machine okay you can just download it already prepared and of course we will come that uh, to that later but you have to do this okay which is uh, if the dot level I mean the top level window the newer window coming from the from the uh, main window like I have this as the main window now you want to make another window you use the uh, top level command to create another window and based on this path everything like for example here the, the newer frame will go am top dot f okay so everything will go like uh, I'm top dot f dot whatever because this is how I'm uh, organizing my widgets okay there's a frame that contains an entry okay that contains also I mean the frame contains uh, uh, another uh, label however like in here okay no no sorry uh, yep this this label yep I have this another label inside the frame and I have uh, other things uh, in the uh, top level uh, window okay I'm not going to explain the script okay but just understand that all we need is this this means that if this top level is uh, is created just quit don't create the rest of the things okay and uh, if not just create one by using the command top level uh, on top okay so uh, in this way you uh, create newer buttons uh, newer windows newer activities like I'm trying to simulate and mimic the way of Android and also you should add somewhere okay in your script you've noticed that there was uh, an exit uh, button just go backward in the video you will see it okay so uh, what you should do is not close the application what you should close the application from is from this quit app button inside the main inside the main window okay, unless that unless you want that that's something else okay but uh, because I have other uh, tasks here in the main window okay so you should just close the window of the top level window okay instead of closing the whole application so this is what I do let me see this is where I saved the exit the exit button yes this one okay this one okay so this is the one so what I'm saying is that I'm making a button on the on top and the on top top level window the newer window new dialogue and I'm mentioning its name as exit and the, uh, the it has the command to destroy the current window uh, dot on top okay which is the top level window and because 
I set my uh, my scripts to take full screen okay they will be auto sized on the uh, full screen okay so this is about uh, destroying this M top uh, window now regarding the let's see here okay regarding this quit app of course you should make an exit command that's it simply so you've got a new button dot name dot exit means uh, this uh, button that's named exit bot okay is located on on the uh, root window okay this main window the starter starter window so when I click it it will simply close the app but because you're making so all your uh, windows full screen so this means to reach the uh, quit app button okay you have to exit every window that's that will be uh, displayed as a stack of windows like you start uh, with one to, to call the other to call the other to call the other okay so they will be stacking on top of each other because you're making them full screen and they will look so much like uh, Android uh, apps okay so I hope uh, you liked uh, this video and please uh, uh, subscribe and don't forget to uh, buy the uh, and get the uh, the TCLTK uh, package that uh, teaches you TCL from the start. Thanks.